Hello my friends and welcome back to my channel, Coffee Tea Paper. My name's Louise and we're here to do our weekly journal prompt for the coming week. But I thought I would also, uh, I have been putting off and putting off and putting off. I just simply haven't had the time this year with, we had a major renovation in our house, etc. And I got this beautiful pen from Esther Brook. It is a Esty Honeycomb uh, fountain pen with a new type of nib at the time, back in April or May uh, when I got it. And it is a mini stub or a mini, I think they call it like a journaling stub pen. Haven't taken out of the box, haven't inked it up, done nothing. And uh, it's such a shame. It's been sitting on my desk taunting me. I've been trying to run down all my other fountain pens. I pretty much had them all inked up. And uh, I've just been each week choosing a different pen in my journal to fill out my weekly memories. Um, so I can't really show you because it's private. Um, but I just thought, look, today is a day. It's a really wet, miserable day here. We've had a week of not very nice weather, to be perfectly honest. And uh, you've got to take the opportunity on days like that to do things that you may have been putting off or just haven't had the time to do around home. So, uh, I got this ink last month from... Ferris Wool Press called Leg Cast Letters and I have a review of that on my channel if you want to go and take a look but I think it's a fantastic ink it's a very very usable ink and I am very keen to ink up this pen with this ink and uh, start using it <laughs> so I don't know what today's prompt will be last week's was from Oprah Winfrey when you don't know what to do, do nothing. Get quiet so you can hear the still, small voice. Uh, but regardless of what today's prompt is, I am going to write it on my page somewhere <laughs> with my new pen and ink combination. So let's get that sorted out first of all. Let's, in fact, let's get the prompt out first because uh, put this one away what have we got oh I'm a bit disappointed it doesn't have very many words <laughs> there won't be all that much writing <laughs> nothing can bring you peace but yourself Yes, that's true. You've got to give yourself permission to find peace in whatever form that that takes for yourself. Um, if you're always looking for other things or other people or so forth to, to find peace, you could be looking for a very long time. I'm going to have a think about that while I ink up this pen. I am going to get out my... Not very aesthetic, but very practical splat pad. I've never had an Estabrook before. Um, from time to time they have sent me some nice things. Uh, they sent me some they sent me some blotting blotting sheets. Uh, which are very nice with different artwork on it. This is by Anne Nossack. So there are some big blotting sheets. And then there are some smaller ones. And I'm actually using this one in my journal uh, to put under my hand and to blot the writing for each day. 
Um, so yeah, so there, that was a lovely gift from Estabrook. Now, they didn't gift me this pen. I'll wrap that up later. They didn't gift me this pen, but they did give me a very generous discount um, in order to, to purchase it. So that was very nice of them. Wow, it's beautiful. I've seen, I've seen, uh, oh, it's an ink cartridge. Look at that, look at this tiny little envelope. <laughs> Scan to activate your pen. Oh, geez. I probably should have opened this up a long time ago. I'll do that after I film. Um, yeah, I've been very slack. So let's just have a look at the nib. Oh wow, that's um, see that spring. That creates a really nice airtight seal. So. This is, yeah, it says MS, so the mini stub, and I believe it's a 14 carat gold nib, I think. Oh, for a minute there, I didn't think there was a converter, <laughs> but there is, thank goodness. It's a big greasy so it's just a piston Estabrook branded piston converter so Let's get this baby inked up. Mm. I always end up making a mess. Okay, so I will write with that in my journal. So I'll just let that sit for a minute. Um, had a little thing about the quote. Nothing can bring you peace but yourself. Well, that sort of puts me in mind of things that bring me peace or sort of little daily rituals. And uh, have a guess now if you can guess what daily ritual immediately springs to my mind. <laughs> I'll go and put a few things together and get started in my journal and we'll do a bit of writing with this beautiful looking pen. I'm really, really looking forward to trying it out. If you haven't guessed already, one of the little daily rituals uh, in my life that gives me a moment to just sit and relax and find a bit of peace is enjoy my cup of coffee. <laughs> um, recently I've switched to oat milk instead of um, cow's milk and uh, yeah, it's. I must admit it's still very very nice it doesn't really make all that much difference um, but it just helps me cut down a bit on some of the dairy in my diet I have this sticker in my stash and yeah i really like how she's sort of just sitting there having a nice little moment <laughs> she looks happy and peaceful um, so based around those things 
Um, I've got heaps of this paper. Um, I just thought it reminded me of the rain that we've just been having so much rain uh, lately. Uh, so I thought that went nicely. And then I just, uh, oh, I got this new tape from Peon. And um, it's a kiss cut um, washi tape with little bits of um, fabric and different bits and pieces on it uh, and it's really pretty so I thought I might have a play with that as well um, some labels this is also from Peon um, another kind of die cut tape This is interesting. This one even here has peace and quiet. Make sure you're happy with your life offline too. Yeah, that's a good one, isn't it? That actually ties in quite nicely. It's not quite the colour, but uh, I might still be able to work with it. Hmm, see. See how we go. And... Leaning into this moment of coffee, I've got this pet tape which is just uh, full of coffee splodges and splatters and bits of text and those sorts of things. So I might pop a little bit of this in as well. Um, I've already got some leftover bits, they might work. And uh, these little die cut ampersands, they always add a nice little touch to your page. A bit like washi dots, but if you want to not always use washi dots, even though I'm very tempted to always use washi dots. And I found this in my stash. I had a little sample loop of this tape. It's just kind of nice and textural. Kind of leaning into those neutral colors so yes let's have a bit of a play and I'm going to write this quote down with my new pen um, hmm. okay I'm going to put some music on and uh, let's get journaling
I just want to get down my quote here first down the bottom um, I haven't I haven't even done a test right on anything so I'm just gonna go in for it I'm actually wondering if I should pencil it in first okay I'm gonna pencil it in first just lightly and then come over it just because I'm going straight on the page um, yeah and we'll see how we go Okay, now that I've penciled that in, it's uh, it's uh, time to give this new Estabrook pen a whirl. Uh, mini stub journaling nib. Okay, this writes really nicely and um, I'm a bit sorry that I didn't do this a bit smaller. Um, I think with the, the mini stub you can actually get quite small, uh, nice, fine writing but still with some, some line variation. Uh, let me just grab one of my... Um, my blotting papers here. Yep, <laughs> glad I did that. Um, I think it's so big. I'm just going to try and fill out the downstrokes a bit, which of course may be a big mistake. <laughs> Mm, I think that line width now looks a bit better with that uh, size of font. I want to write something else here, just, I don't know what, um, just to do a bit more, like see if I do small writing with this one, maybe up here. Mm. Well, that's a very nice pen and a very nice nib. I like that a lot. Um, yeah, I'll have to send a bit of a thank you email to Estabrook for giving me a uh, very generous discount on that one. Bit belated, but better late than never. And yeah, I might just blot that out as well. And I didn't end up using that any of those labels, but I'm not too sure I want to add something else. I'm maybe maybe something else up here just to soften that rather sharp corner. Hmm. Maybe this one that sort of ties in nicely with the lead cast letters ink. Might do it horizontally. I wouldn't mind a couple of washi dots there. <laughs> I'm sure, I'm sure some of you are screaming, just stop, stop, it's fine as it is, you don't need to add anything else. Oh my goodness, what is it with her and her washi dots? <laughs> I just like them, okay? <laughs> oh no, I flattened one of the edges. And one more, there's a grey one. Ooh, yes. Doesn't that look good? Aren't you glad I added them in now? Yes, I hear you say, yes, yes. 
did the right thing. <laughs> so we might call it a done deal here. Um, I hope you enjoy this week's quote. And uh, yeah, don't forget to tag me on Instagram with the hashtag CTP 2024 Calm Journal Prompts. And the other thing, I probably should have mentioned this. I might do a, what are those called, those things, shorts or something. But I have opened up a monthly happy mail thing. So what you do is there's a link in my Instagram. I may have put a link on my YouTube as well. And it basically takes you to a form and you put in your name, your postal address, um, your birth date, not the year, and what style you like, you know, vintage, botanical, steampunk, goth, I don't know, whatever you fancy, colour. And uh, yeah, so once a month, I am going to randomly pick someone to receive a surprise happy mail tailored to their tastes hopefully <laughs> so if you haven't seen that go and check that out join in um gotta be gotta be in it and um i will see you in the next video thank you so much for watching i will leave you with some you know artistic uh, close-ups and so forth and uh, i'll see you next time bye